So this is Project Ara right here. And we at the Lunara Connect here in Hong Kong. So who are you? I'm Greg Crow Hartman from Linux Foundation. So you've been working on some, some new projects with this, right? Yeah. So um, we're working on the pr a new hardware protocol to, for these modules to talk across Unipro, uh, which is a hardware specification, so they can interconnect and work with Linux and everything. So what's the name of the, this new protocol? Oh, it's called Graybus. So, so, so why is it called Graybus? Um, the first prototype phones we had were called Gray phones. So we're like, okay, that'll be the bus for the gray phone. So it'll be gray bus, and we're not marketing people. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, what goes into doing this protocol, and uh, how, how do you get it designed? How do you get it done, and everything? Um, we look at the requirements we had: was to make devices so they can talk to each other and to the host. They had to be hot swappable. Um, they had to describe themselves. Nothing static, and everything like that. And um, we just go from there, based on the knowledge of what we know about USB and PCI and FireWire and all the previous protocols that people have implemented, and we worked on the base level, what Unipro can do, and we went from there. So basically, you modifying Linux to be able to have modules? Well, no, Linux handles modules fine. This is just another subsystem that drivers plug into, so it's... Uh, hot swappable? Hot swappable, like USB and PCI is hot swappable today, so this is just another one that hot swappable. So yeah, it's just a tiny little driver chunk and add-on drivers for these. So there's a bunch of guys working on it, and uh, so who are, who are you? I'm uh, Rob Herring. I'm with Lenaro and I'm tech lead for the Lenaro side and we're working on the kernel portions of the AP modules and and as well as Android modifications. So what's Lenaro doing with the Project Ara? What can you say? Like so so <laughs> yeah. our, our portion is, is Android in the kernel side. Um, so Android, the, while the kernel supports hot plug, Android generally does not. So that's one of the major challenges for Android. So is it like a heavily modified Android or just a little bit or how does it work? It's uh, mostly HAL modifications but there's parts of it that will uh, go all the way up the stack because even affecting the Play Store. So, so there's, there's a bunch of guys right in their, that room that are working, what, what are they doing? So we're working on uh, the new hardware platforms that we have. There's a whole bunch of development boards that are going on to developers. In a week or so, we're making sure that the developer boards, we have a stack of them that they're right, um, and they boot up properly, and the firmware's on there. And they're going out to people, a lot of people submitted um, applications so they could get, they had ideas for modules. And they, um, we picked a whole bunch of them, and they're going to go out soon to them. So we're working on making sure that works. So uh, with all the work you're doing at the, uh, with Linux, and uh, so, 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 it, is, is this kind of uh, functionality potentially could go in all kinds of different devices, right? Sure. It's, all, um, it's interesting that all this stuff is open. Google's opened up the specifications, the electrical specifications. The Unipro specification's been open and around for a long time, but all the levels on top of it is all open. Um, people are doing 3D printed modules based on the mechanical specifications that they got. Um, you can create your own module because the schematics are open. Um, everything, the firmware in these things is all open, so you can do whatever you want with the firmware as well. So, yeah, it's a very open ecosystem that they're creating. Very open. There might be some SOCs with GPUs that might not be open or stuff like that, right? Well, I mean, that's up to you. I mean, if yeah. you make an AP module that happens to have, that's up to you. I mean, you can put any whatever processor you want in this thing. All right. Um, that's your, your idea. And this is a real working prototype? Yeah. Yeah, this right. one, um, the battery that is dead right now, so it doesn't boot. But um, we had other ones. You saw the video, George booted one earlier, so there's a few booting protocol, prototypes so, around. So potentially it could be set-top boxes, it could be anything, it could be like this kind of I, I, modular stuff. Yeah, it's just another, well, it's like, think about it as USB. USB is a very modular bus that anybody can make to do anything, right, based on the specifications. This is just another one. So the gray bus, uh, is it working, or is it, how much more work is it needed? It's working. This thing boots and works. Um, there's a bunch of more protocols we're implementing, so like things like getting the cameras to work, talk to proper protocols, um, and a whole bunch of polishing, a whole bunch of stuff working with real hardware. When real hardware meets the specification, you gotta get it all working right. Um, the code's all open, you can check it out and run it right now. You can simulate it on a BeagleBone. We have simulations, so you can run it on your laptop and simulate it that way. Um, we did a lot of development that way. Um, so yeah, it's still working. And there's a bunch of guys you've been able to coordinate and work together very efficiently, everybody's Doing yeah. lots of stuff. Yep, it's a lot of different companies working together. Developers from other countries or countries and companies all doing stuff together. And at Linaro, it's been uh, fun working on yes, the Ara it's, project. It's, uh, a lot of technical challenges, and uh, it's 
been a lot of fun. So here we have a development board. So yeah, so this simulates the different modules that you plug into the phone itself. So here's like the display, you can plug in the application processor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, battery, or connector, all those things. And there's also talk to these. So these are the bridge chips that are in the module as well. So you can just run the code on those. Just talk to the firmware that's running on your application processor. So you plug in your application processor and it can talk over USB, whatnot. So we're doing the hardware firmware bring up on these chips or your modules. That's what this board's for. So there's a there's an ARM processor here. There's, there's more. There's so this is a microcontroller that goes in the Indo, and then this is the switch within the Indo. So this portion of the board is kind of the electronics that are in the Indo, and then these would be essentially modules, but with standard connectors on them for USB and SD. And what do you connect uh, everywhere here? What do you connect on those? Those can be the video and camera. DSI and CSI connectors. All right. HDMI somewhere too. So you have a bunch of those, and they're shipping out to the all the developers, the main developers, right? So yeah. Some boards go into the module developers. Module developers, and uh, right here the Lenaro Connect. A bunch of guys are hacking on them. Yep. And uh, this allows uh, to get things done with the Ara project. Right. Right. Cool. And. Uh, we're here at the Project Ara hacking room, and uh, you're at Linaro, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Alex Elder. I'm with Linaro, and uh, here we're working on Project Ara. Um, we've got actually a, a large number of people working on Project Ara. So there's a bunch of boards here on the tables, and what are the, um, they're connected, and people are, what are they doing? All right, so this is. Um, Generally, these guys are working on the firmware that works on a chip on the Project Ara phone. And each of, well, I don't know, I guess I should have the Project Ara phone here, but uh, Project Ara phone has um, individual modules, and each individual module is going to have, um, has to have some circuitry and components uh, to support communication with the AP, the, the processor, and the other parts of the phone. Another part of um, Ara, can I slide this out? Is this okay? Yeah. All right. So each of these modules is removable and will have a different functionality. You might have a storage module, you might have distinct um, camera modules. Here's a camera. You might want to slide out your, your camera and replace it with a better camera, for example. That's part of the concept. Cool. So, for example, what do you, what do, you do? I work on the kernel software. Um, we actually have sort of three groups of three main focuses on of the software for Project R. The, uh, one is the firmware, and that's going to be running on some of these chips. Uh, second is the kernel software, and um, and that is uh, basically interacting with with the firmware uh, through the drivers and stuff. And then the kernel uh, works with the Android software, uh, which is just your normal Android uh, telephone. Right. And around here, a bunch of people doing different different areas, yeah, we're collaborating. All, I mean, a lot of this is uh, just bringing up the hardware. Um, oftentimes, when you uh, try to load the software on the hardware, it's not going to uh, work just exactly the way it's supposed to, or the way you anticipated. And so, a lot of this is figuring out when there's a software problem, or whether there's really a problem with the hardware. And you've only had these boards since recently, right? Yes. Uh, so, like very recently. Yeah, this is a, actually a second iteration of these boards, but this is called the Big Development Board. This actually is a very spread out version of the phone that I just showed you a moment ago, um, where each, each of these things is a place where a module could sit, and then on the board there's a chip uh, that might be resident within a module. So does it work, or is it uh, still being tested on the different? The, the, these boards are very new. You, you're the trying to get them to work, new. right? We're getting things to work. It, uh, we have we have versions of the code, the boot, boot Android, um, but we're continuing to work on uh, specifics uh, for um, various bits of functionality. It's it's actually there's a lot of stuff, and I'm I probably can't cover it all. <laughs>